Hello! In this tutorial I want to show you multiple things. The main thing is the handling the keyboard, so the key events. The not main thing is to show you the motion. Ok, so we need another case here. Uh, remember this is uh, our, um, you know, uh, while structure which goes through all of the events. So switch which goes through all of the events. I don't know why I said why structure, never mind. So, go through all of the events and then, you know, uh, do some things with it. For example, if we press the X on the window, we just set to force the running, so we just exit. Simple. Okay, we have uh, another uh, one like case uh, SDL uh, key done. This event will occur whenever you press the key down. Okay, by the way, we have to create first a new variable. This will be a boolean uh, array actually, so B4 with four elements for the four directions. So we have right, left, up, and down. Okay, and we initialize it zeros. Okay, that's it, we just initialize everything to zero. Alright. And here in the SDLK down, so whenever a key is done, we make another switch st statement to check that what key has been uh, pressed. So switch, and then in here uh, we have to put the event dot key, so we get the key from the event structure, and the key has um, another class a key sim and it has th the sim member okay a little complicated and i don't really know what the sim uh, stands for and this other sim stands for but uh, you know you can use the go google to uh, uh, learn what does it do and for now you just uh, remember this so this how you can get the what key was pressed okay and you just uh, compare it to constants in the SDL library. Uh, every key in the SDL library has the SDL key structure and then underscore and then the key. Don't worry, it will be clear in a moment. So, we use the case uh, SDLK and then an underscore and then what do you want to compare it to? So you can uh, put just a simple letter in here like W, but you can do other constants like uh, up. Up will be the up arrow key in your keyboard. Okay, and in here, so inside this case, you just set the B0 to 1. Uh, this simple mean that uh, the B0 will be 1. Okay. Uh, it will be clear for you in a moment why we did that. Okay, and I just copied this, although it's not the best way and best practice to do that, but we will do that. I go to left, so I will not forget it. Where do I go? Okay, and third, and this will be the down and the right. By the way, you can go whatever order would you like. I just like to go in one direction and a circle, you know, first up, left, down, right. So yeah, we make a little circle. So I will not forget it uh, uh, if I know the direction. Okay, and this is good and uh, nice, but it's not enough because we have the whenever I press the key, it will go forever in that direction. So we should. Whenever we release the key, we should make this back to zero. So let's see. Uh, to do that, I just you know, and actually break break from the switch because we uh, because one event could be just one handler. I don't know exactly. Okay, so I just copy, and the only change this will be key up. So whenever the user releases a key, a key up event will occur. Okay, and the only thing is to set these back to zeros. 
So whenever the user press the up key, so want to go up, uh, we just set the zeroth element to one. And uh, whenever the user release the up key, we just set back to zero. I hope it is clear for you. And while we do that, it will be clear for you in a moment. Okay, in here in the logic section, we just use an if it's b0 that so if not id if if the keys uh, if the up key is uh, pressed at the moment so the user is pressing the up key so pressed but not released it yet then we just decrease the uh, rect dot y value so this simple means that uh, you know we go up you probably know that in computer world uh, the the coordinate system is not the same as the in the math world math world in the coordinate system goes uh, uh, from the bottom corner and increase up and increase uh, in the right in the computer world the coordinate system starts from uh, the uh, upper left corner and goes down it is increased down and it is increased right so yeah it is like uh, mirrored something like this so yeah that's it so whenever the user press the up key we just want to decrease the y because remember whenever we decrease the y uh, something goes up the zero zero corner is the left upper corner uh, yeah that's it okay and we just checked for the others as well so if b1 then we know the left key is pressed so we just decrease the x with the one if the b2 is pressed then we just increase the y because the user pressed the down key oh rect dot y of obviously okay and then if b3 was pressed so the, the right key i guess then we just increase the x so x plus plus that's it now i think we can try to run it oh not that we have to first uh, okay I believe I forget to close the while but why did I did that oh I know uh, so uh, yeah we need another thing in here so yeah to close this switch because I forget to, to make another one so yeah that's a problem but don't worry about that too much now it can compileable so just need another uh, thing so how is it called curly bracket to close this switch uh, and that's it okay now we can try to run it and as you can see it somehow always uh, be one at uh, right Oh, I know. This is not B4, this is B3. Now we can run the program. Okay, sorry about that, these mistakes, but you know, it's a leaf. I'm not so good at leaf. Okay, so whenever I press the up key, I go up. Whenever I press the down key, I go down. So yeah, that's it. Pretty much that's it. You can move the square in right now so you can go down or some other direction so that is the basic of the keyboard so let's see again the keyboard okay so inside the switch statement which uh, check the type of the event we just use the FDL key down this event will be generated whenever uh, the user press a key in the keyboard uh, not matter what key a uh, key okay and then we just change the this boolean value to true so to one uh, so yeah that's what we will use in here to decide that which uh, which of the buttons 
WordPress. Okay, and we have an SDL key up which is generated whenever the user release a button. So for example, when I press the down button, then the B2 will be true. And whenever I release, I set the B2 back to false. Yeah, that's it. It is clear, I think. And this simple logic, it is logic and this is the render. So I can make a new comment right here, call it render. All right. So, whenever I press the up key, I just uh, decrease the Y because uh, remember that the the coordinate system works like this. So this is the zero zero point, and here the X is increasing and down the Y is increasing. So if I press the Y key, for example, this is our cube, oh, actually square. So whenever I press the up key, we should uh, decrease this y coordinate to go up. So I hope it is clear for you. So uh, this way it is uh, increasing and this way it is increasing. All right, that's how is the coordinate system work in the computer world. Okay, so yeah, after you understand that, it will be simple. So if the, if we are pressing the up key, we just go up. If we are pressing the left key, we just go left. If we are pressing the down key, we go the right, uh, down. We if we are pressing the right key, we go right. And that's it. That's fairly simple, isn't it? Okay, and that's for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a great day.